I'm building all of the duct systems in this house myself, and we're about to test the first one that I have actually completed. Now, I could feel like I did a great job. I could tell you that I did a great job, but... But unless you test it, you don't know if you've done a good job with your duct system. You're trying to just make sure that the air that is traveling through the ductwork goes where you're aiming it to go and doesn't find a better path of least resistance on the way to the room that it's supposed to be delivered to. We've temporarily taped over the face of all of the openings of the ducts, and actually that tape is gonna stay in place for the duration of construction because we're not using the duct system yet, and we wanna make sure that no dust gets into our system before we are ready to use it because it's supposed to be healthy air that we're blowing around. So what we have here is basically a small blower door. We're gonna be blowing not this much air. I'm not gonna be blowing this much air either. We are going to go with this size hole. Now, if I'm doing a really good job, then later we could try and test it with this hole, which you can't even see. This is my first system, so we'll, we'll find out. We'll see but how good he's doing. The whole point is to know what you're aiming at, right? So we know what number I need to hit in order to meet code in our state. And all states in the US are going to eventually have some standard for testing ducts. This studio is an 800 square foot studio, so there's eight hundreds in this uh, equation, and eight times four, as an example, is? 32. 32 is the number that I'm aiming at. If I can get below 32, I pass. If I hit above 32, I fail. That's basically black and white. And the important thing is your duct system is a lot like your plumbing system. It's basically just plumbing for air, and we wanna make sure that all the air is going to the places that we want it to go. Exactly. So we were aiming for 32 and you came in at 15. Making ducts airtight is not rocket science. First time out, and you can do a really good job if you actually are trying to make them airtight, and that's the first step. So now that you don't have to work on the ducts, you can keep finishing the rest of the house? <laughs> right. I can work on the other three, four duct systems that are in here. So right. the breathing apparatus in our house is more complicated than most houses, but we're trying to tell this story and you'll see how these come together in future episodes.